Hey everybody, today is Teach It Tuesday and we're bringing you a new tutorial for how to do a bow on a nylon band. And this is how it looks when you're done. Um, super cute, five inch bow. Um, and let's get started. All right, so to make this really cute nylon bow, which mine ends up being five inches, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, five inch bow here um, on a nylon band. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that really fast. A really easy, simple way to do it. First of all, I like to get my nylons from Charlie Charles um, on Etsy. We can link that down below. I really like these. This is a light nude color. And then also you will need, um, you don't have to have these, but this makes it really simple. Um, these are just little clear elastics that help keep the um, pinches together when you're doing this bow. And then you will need a five inch by 20 inch strip you could do it a little bit shorter but this will get it you see my cat down here he's listening to the ice um so that's what that is out of one yard of fabric you can get 21 nylon bows from fabric you would just cut your strips like a normal head wrap the 60 inches five inch you can cut seven of those and then you cut seven of those strips into thirds and you get this so you, you cut one long strip like a head wrap um into thirds and you get a five inch by 20 inch piece the five inch by 20 inch okay so we are going to put the bullet side down and we're going to put right here on the cut mat here as you can see is 20 inches long what you're going to i'm going to go ahead and grab my rotary cutter real fast this is alpha rotary cutter so um before i get started i like to go ahead and cut these little corners off of my bow piece here they just get in the way later and I just find to cut them off. So that's what I kind of like to do. And then you are going to determine how big you want your bow to be. We're doing five inches. I feel, I feel like that's a really good size. So I'm gonna do five inches here. I'm gonna try to line that up. And then you can try to fold it over like this if you want to, but I find this wrinkles. So then I pull this piece over like this. Okay, so then you've got your five inch bow here that is now double layered. And what I like to do is I like to take my elastic wherever I just put it, elastic, and I like to pre-stretch it and put it on my fingers here. And then what you're going to do is pinch your bow piece here. Because this is the bow piece here that's five inches. See here, ten, Yeah, five inch bow piece here. And then this is your extra piece that you're going to fold around. So this right here is going to keep your pinches together so that you don't have to try to keep them together as you tie. All right, so you're just going to pinch this. And the more pinches that you can get, the prettier your bow is going to look. So just make sure they're even. Um, I've seen some people do, you know, both sides at a time. I haven't quite mastered that, but I see one, two, three, four, five, pretty much five and a half pinches here. And then you just wrap this elastic around here and put it in the middle. But then we're going to flip it over. And as you can see, you just need to wiggle your elastic to go to the middle here. And um, the best part about this way is you can prepare a ton of bows this way really fast because um, it takes like no time at all. All right, so there's the bow piece here. And so now you can see that that's what it was gonna, gonna look like. The bow piece and you pull that piece back. Okay, so then what I like to do is go ahead and take my nylon, put my hand in it, and then grab this piece here, that slack piece. I like to grab it and pull my nylon on and pull it pretty tight behind here. Okay, so I'm holding onto my nylon with this hand. Grab your nylon and hold onto the access piece with this hand. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to fold the piece here so that the bullet piece is, is gonna be shown when you flip this around. Okay, so pull your uh, uh, nylon and pull your slack. You're basically pulling it against each other. Don't pull too tight because you can move that elastic. And then you're going to pull this up over and then keep it kind of tight and then around. Now we're on the back side of the bow where the nylon is. So here's the nylon. I like to keep it pulled down this way. And then you're going to try to stick your finger in here, which is right here, where that hole is underneath the nylon. And you're going to stick this piece in right there. Poke it in there and then pull it through that tail piece. Be gentle because this fabric does fray. And then if you don't fluff it, that's what it looks like when you're done. 
Um, so but what I'm going to do, I like to pull my knots really tight. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that. And then I'm going to wiggle my bow before I pull it too tight. Um, just to make sure I like my center. And I, it's all centered up. And there we go. And then you just pull these like this. And I'm going to pull it just slightly this way a little bit more. All right, and I'm going to tighten my knot one more time here. One good pull. I find like the center looks really nice when it's uh, tightened like that. Alright, so there's our bow piece. Fluff it to make it even. And then you're left with this tail piece here. And then all I like to do is take my scissors. Make sure you pull your nylon away from this so you don't cut your nylon. And then just cut your slack off here. And... There you go, that's your nylon. And that's what the back looks like with the tiny little piece that you cut off. And then the best way to determine where your nylon goes, it's going to be this bottom part here, this flat part, as you can see, you pull it to that. And so when you sit it on a head, like so, it stands up. So like my fingers are the head and the bow will stand up on the head and that's how you get your bows to stand up you got to make sure that that nylon is on that flat edge because if you try to pull the nylon up here it's not going to go all the way up it's not going to work so whichever way the nylon goes and it's up against the flat part here is how the nylon goes and that's how the bow is going to sit the most prettiest so that's how i make our nylon bows um it's super simple really easy and you can make a ton of bows um, like that really fast especially using those elastics. I will um, link these down below as well. They're from Amazon. You get like a ton. I don't even know how many are in here, but they're just clear elastics. But so that's the nylon bow. They go with everything and they're super cute. So I hope you guys like this video and we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.